This video will show how to determine Z sub alpha using Desmos.com, where Z sub alpha denotes the Z score with an area of alpha to its right. So for example, Z sub 0.1 is a Z score, where the area to the right is 0.1, which means the area to the left is 0.9. And we need the area to the left to use Desmos to find the Z score. Similarly, for Z sub 0.025, the area to the right of the z-score is 0.025, which means the area to the left is 1 minus 0.025, which is 0.975. And now let's go to Desmos and find these two z-scores. We go to desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. Next, let's open the Desmos keypad by clicking the Show Keypad button, then click Functions, then click Dist for Distributions, we first click normal distribution. By default, we have the standard normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. But let's go ahead and enter zero comma one anyway. Close parenthesis, period. And now we go back to functions. And this time we click inverse CDF. And then in parentheses, we enter the area to the left. So for Z sub 0 0.1, we enter 0 0.9 or one minus 0 0.1. And the Z score shows below which to four decimal places is approximately 1.2816. Let's verify this by going down to cell two by pressing enter. Go back to functions, click normal distribution, zero comma one, close parenthesis, and now let's click the box find cumulative probability. Let's click zoom fit. Let's verify the area to the right of the z-score is 0 0.1 by entering a minimum of approximately 1.2816, and we can leave the max at infinity, and if we close the Desmos keypad, notice how we can see the area to the right, which is approximately 0 0.1, or we could check the area to the left by clearing the minimum, pressing tab, and have the maximum be approximately 1.2816, and notice how we get approximately 0 0.9. Let's go ahead and record this z-score. And now let's find the z-score z sub 0.025. Notice how the area to the left is 0.975. So going back to Desmos, we go back up to cell one and just change the 0 0.9 to 0.975, and the z-score shows below, which to four decimal places would be 1.9600. And again, let's go ahead and verify the area to the right is 0.025 by changing the minimum in cell two to 1.9600 and clear the maximum. And notice that we do get approximately 0.025. Let's also check the area to the left by changing the maximum to 1.9600 and clearing the minimum so that it goes back to negative infinity. And again, we can see the area to the left is approximately 0.975. So let's go ahead and record this z-score to four decimal places. C sub 0 0.025 is approximately 1.9600. I hope you found this helpful.